hello everyone yeah, welcome back to the channel uh, in this tutorial we'll be discussing in about how to set up a cron job which is, is the most important part in setting up a smart panel smm panel this will enable your other status to be able to show on the dashboard the whole progress of the other other on, on your dashboard please follow this following tutorial to continue on how to set up the cron job on your uh, SMM panel. To do, you have to log into the uh, panel dashboard. When you log into your panel dashboard, then also you have to open new tab and log into our uh, C panel dashboard. Inside the C panel, you have to look for cron job in your C panel. When you click on cron job, so all you have to do, we have to set up that cron job environment. So as you can see, we have some settings as common settings. So inside these common settings, we have some character where you have to set. This character, I'm going to explain them one by one. Here now, we have the minutes uh, and the times. Just put one. That's style for one. And that one should be set to common then the command this command you have to go back to your when you check the document for smart panel you will see one line cron job for main smart panel script just copy this and paste it in that command make sure that all these stars, stars that start with it you remove them so when you remove this Make sure that you edit it with your domain. There's a place where you, the, your website, just put your domain. As you can see, as I'm doing it. Uh, so then you, after doing that, you have to add it. Oh, there's an error. So this error now, what should be the error? Okay, okay. Um, let me change to HTTPS, the same thing. Okay, let me check the time. No, what should be the problem? Okay, let's go and check our list. Okay, it is the star. So remove the star. I mistakenly copy it together. So now add it. Now, as you can see. So let me add this uh, that is blue. Now that is a background that appear in it. Now you have to do for the second line too. So add the same thing for that one. And because we have different by line by line, you have to do the same thing as we do for the first one. Then select the time to be refreshed. Then you have to paste your command. So, pasting your command, make sure that you edit it with your website. So, don't forget to edit it with your website. So, now add it. We have add the second one. So, which is pretty cool. Then we have to add the third line too. So, as you can see, now let's try and add the third line. Now, let me delete this one so that we can test some issues. Now let me add it, so I don't need to change this one again. Just put it to, um, let's see, we put it to something like one. Oh, we don't have to configure the time too, and it will still work. Just leave the time like that. So when you add it, put your website, and it will be successfully added. As you can see. It's added so this current job is very important now we do it for the third part too copy the link after you copy the link then you have to put it to the last part of it so that it will, it will be able to update your job.
Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to explain how you can configure the cron job of a smart panel so that you can be able to update your orders.